Shalom. All praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This lesson is going to be entitled, The Holy Spirit Makes Prophecy Plain. The Holy Spirit makes prophecy plain, not precepts. Not precepts, okay? And what I mean by that is you got a lot of guys that are these precept guys. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, excuse that. They believe that if you get the Bible and you get these precepts, that it's going to unlock the mysteries unto you. Well, that's only half right. You have to have the Holy Spirit because Esau has precepts. Esau could put scriptures together. But what's going to be the determining factor in you understanding the scriptures? You must have the Holy Spirit. Let's go real quick. I just thought of another scripture to bring up. Let's go here to Isaiah. I'm going to prove that to you. <clears throat> Isaiah 59. Round about verse 20. <clears throat> it says, And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. This is only for Jacob. Saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Listen. As for my covenant, this is Salakia. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words shall have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seeds, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. What does that mean? That Jacob is the one that can decipher this book. Now, further than that, you have to be of the elect. This is Romans 11 and 7. It says, what then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded. So only the elect is going to get the understanding of this book. And the reason I'm bringing this out <clears throat> is because you have individuals that think when it comes to difficult mysteries or things that are mis mysterious in the Bible, such as the mark of the beast and other things, but particularly this is dealing with the mark of the beast. <coughs> You think that you're going to understand the Bible on your own merits and it's not going to work. You can't be a carnal man thinking that you're going to understand the Bible. You're trying to do it on your own power. You cannot be self-willed and understand the words in the book. Now, I had a video that I put up yesterday dealing with the mark of the beast. And of course, it got terminated. So now GMS Bible teacher SC7 has two strikes. The page is currently suspended for two weeks, but I'm on the backup page now. But before the video was taken down, this individual made this comment. From Judite Jews, which you already know, this person ain't, ain't doing no work. Judite Jews says, Shalom Ak, are there any precepts to the mark being the chip? Hell yeah, there's precepts. Revelation 14 and 9, Revelation 16, Revelation 13. But you're going to have the Holy Spirit, have, going to have to have the Holy Spirit in order to see it, in order to receive what's being coming out of the book, because Jake. Got this thing, these precept guys. Through that precept, I get understanding. Not without the Holy Spirit, you don't. You got to have the Holy Spirit in order to navigate through the Bible. Jake think that you're going to be self-willed and you're going to understand the Bible without the Spirit directing you and it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And let's prove that. So first we'll go to, let's go to Matthew 16. This is not a thing of flesh and blood. This is the Spirit. So right here it says, Peter's confession of the anointed, right? Matthew 16, 13, when Yahweh came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? <clears throat> and they said, some, uh, some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, are one of the prophets, showing you that the people of Israel understood that reincarnation existed. Because if Jeremiah came back, the Lord had been Jeremiah. That would mean Jeremiah's spirit came back in another body and he was what? Resur uh, reincarnated. Same with Elijah, same with John the Baptist and any other one of the great prophets. He saith unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the anointed, the son of the living, living power. Listen close. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, blessed art thou Simon Barjona for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee. But my father, which is in heaven, you see, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my father, which is in heaven. So these mysteries that are in the scriptures. Now, in that case, we wouldn't talk about you know, any mysteries it was dealing with what it was dealing with. But in our time now, you guys are struggling, trying to get their precepts. You think that's the main reason that you're not going to understand or you won't believe that the, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. 
because you can't find any precepts. And you guys are falling all over the place, saying that the market is sin, saying that it's philosophy and all this. Well, sin been around since the beginning of time. The market of the beast is an end time prophecy. Is it not? Why is sin only known by sin all throughout the scriptures and wickedness? But at the end, it's known as the mark of the beast. That doesn't make sense. It's not a philosophy. It's not a spiritual mark. It is the mark, the RFID chip. If you don't believe it, you just don't believe it, man. And it's no problem. But all this, this belly aching, are there any precept to the mark being the chip? Well, are there any precept to saying that Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are Israelites? Are there any precept to say Esau's the white man? Are there any precepts that say America's Babylon the Great? No, they're not. These things are revealed by the Spirit. Let's go there. 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 9, it says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by his Spirit. These things have to be revealed by the Spirit. You Sure, you can get precepts, but without the Spirit, it's going to be pointless. The people in the Christian church can put together scriptures. Doesn't mean they're going to understand them. You need the spirit to guide you and direct you into understanding the truth. Plain and simple. But the most I have revealed them unto us by his spirit, his Holy Spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yeah, the, the deep things are the most high. See that? The spirit searches all things. Yeah, the deep things are the most high. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of the most high knoweth no man but the spirit of the most high. See that? You got to have the spirit of the most high in order to understand this book. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the most high. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high. So then, if a man can't receive that, the mark of the beast is, a, uh, is the RFID chip. There, it doesn't matter how many scriptures we give you. The understanding is there. What's the, what's the beast? What's the number of the beast? What's the image of the beast? You don't know none of that. You guys are just throwing things out there because you're inept. And the spirit is not dealing with you. Through that precept, I get understanding. Not without the Holy Spirit. Verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. You got to get this through the spirit. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. And really, a natural man wants you to give them tangible proof. For this or that. Are there any precepts to the mark being? You fucking know well. Ain't no precept to say now the chip is the mark of the beast. The word chip ain't in the Bible. And we done lessons backwards and forwards. You little punk ass scoffers. And you little lightweight backhanded individuals man. The most I ain't dealing with you. And if I could have addressed the individual on the comment board with this. I would have cussed his ass out. Because you're just doing that being contentious. Because you, you, you know. Jake love to make this big thing. But we can prove, we can prove it. We're going to the word karagma. We're going to the karaks. We're going to all that. Prove you that it's something literal, but you niggas won't believe it. You just keep on with this incessant need. Prove this. Prove that. Show me this in the scriptures. And then if you don't see precepts for it, you won't believe it. You see? But it are, there are precepts to it. But they come out of revelation. Right? And you have others. When the, uh, uh, this man set up this, this, this RFID chip, that is an image made to a... a, a um, it's made to an idol. This is likened unto when uh, Elder Yahshua I'm brought it out earlier. It's likened unto Babylon when they made the image, the golden image, and you're to bow down to it. This mark is going to make you bow. It's going to make you bow your will. You're going to be worshiping an idol if you take this shit. But you know what? Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. You got to get this through the spirit. Precepts are not going to help you. Getting precepts in the scriptures is not a, a backhanded way to understand the Bible without the Holy Spirit. You think if I could just get the, the precepts, the most high in dealing with you, you're not going to get it. This has to be opened up to you from the spiritual realm. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of the anointed. And you got to have the mind of the anointed to understand this book. Understand these mysteries. And he has to open you up to understand. You can get all the precepts you want. Without the Lord dealing with you, you through. Let me prove it. Luke 24, 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, 
that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets <clears throat> and in the Psalms concerning me. Listen, then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. He had to open their understanding up. They knew the, they knew the Bible. They knew the scrolls, but they, he had to open them up to understanding. You see, the same thing in our time now. Matthew 13 and 10, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Everybody can't get this. It's allotted to a certain amount. And if you're walking around at this time, after all them thousands of videos we did on the mark of the beast, still asking for a precept to prove that the mark, mark being the child. How? How? I'm saying, saying it straightforward like that. We, we go through whole lessons. You mean tell me Judite Jews never seen a lesson on the mark of the beast full of scriptures? He never seen that? Come on, man. Grow up. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken eat away, even that he hath. Therefore speak out to them in parables, because they see, see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is, the, is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. You see that? And the Most High, as you read on, he got people blocked out for a reason, so they don't be converted, and he healed them. We're going to shut it down after this. This is Matthew 11, 27. Listen. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. This has to be revealed from you to you on high, from Yahweh Shai, conducted through the Holy Spirit. So if Yahweh Shai don't give you the Holy Spirit and help you understand these words, you can get all the precepts you want. You are dead in the water. And that's just the bottom line. Let's see if we can get the precept to it. Yeah, Luke 10, 22. All things are delivered to me of my father. And no man knoweth who the son is but the father. And who the father is but the son. And he to whom the son will reveal him. You see that? And I got to get one more. Because your house, I got to open you up. Jake trying to be self-willed. Asking for precepts. No, you need to pray and ask for the Holy Spirit in, the, in discernment. So you can know that what we're bringing out is the truth. But if you can't, oh well. Revelation 3 and 7. Until the angel of the church in Philadelphia write. These things saith he that is holy. He that is true. He that hath the key of David. He that openeth and no man shutteth. And shutteth and no man openeth. Right. Open and shut what? Your mind to this truth. Your destiny. He can open you up. He can shut you down. The Old Testament Israelites don't realize that the Savior, you, he knows you don't believe in him because he made you not believe by not giving you the Holy Spirit. Verse 8, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. What open door? The door is open in your mind and nobody can stop you from getting it. But on the, on the contrary, if that door has been shut, nobody can open it. For thou hast a little strength and has kept my word and has not denied my name. So you know what, Judite Jews, you on your own, bro. If the Lord ain't opened it up to you, you're finished. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.